Okay, we're going to take in a preview of the 240 from Chester on Thursday, which is Group 3 Betway Huxley Stakes over 10 furlongs and 75 yards for four-year-olds and up. 42.5k purse to the winner, 75k guaranteed purse um, to be spread throughout the seven runners that are engaged here. Um, overall, there's three seen chances in this race in the field of seven. One that comes out clear cut on top from our line of thinking, which is the seven Western Him. Um, bred to stay this sort of trip by High Chaparral out of a Cape Cross mare, Blue Rhapsody. Frankie Dettori booked um, on a high after winning the 2,000 guineas on Saturday um, for John Gosden. I mean, training for John Gosden here. Um, Weston Him comes into this Group 3 race on the back of finishing second, beaten one and a quarter by My Dreamboat, first up from a spell. Over 10 furlongs, I'm good to soft. Group 3 level, first up this Season, sure to improve considerably for that effort. Um, headed and outpaced the last 100 yards that day. We do expect a fair bit of improvement. If we go back to this Group 3 win here also at Sandown on the 28th of May last season where he knocked off Arab Spring, very good quality win. We'll just take a quick look at that. Arab Spring in second, beating ahead. Uh, tight margins to nice of you to tell me. An eagle top back in fourth. Arab Springs form lines. Start before group three, winner by a length over Pepper's Moon. Um, won four of its five prior to that. Continuing to improve all the time. Um, big kudos for Weston him to get the better of him that day, especially with Arab Moon being sent around the nine to four favourite. The third horse in that race, nice of you to tell me. There's the run there. It didn't really kick on with its form during the later parts of the 2015 season. Um, but one abnormality in the form lines isn't going to kill this form reference overall. Eagle top back in fourth. Start before. Fourth of Tagruda. Group one quality filly any day of the week. Only three and three quarters off Snow Sky, then um, nose by postpone. Form to the Corsa Can, um, which reads well for one of Western Hymns' other wins, which we'll get to in a second. Consistently thereabouts, never far away, Western Him. Placed at Group 1 level, third to Golden Horn. Um, true top class Group 1 stayer. Um, is returning good order and big scope for more. Has to come out as a clear-cut top-rated contender here. We realistic like, realistically like it around the 2.80 mark. Happy to take that sort of price. Maybe 2.7, but, yeah, really don't want it much shorter. No opening markets out yet, so it's a little bit early to say whether we're going to get the value, although we do believe that we will. Um, not much more, but likely. Second best. Here is the number two battalion, the authorised six-year-old gelding. Mixes its form and is a little bit enigmatic, but on its day, capable of running a good race. That win over Wannabe Yours was decent. Not far off racing history, the start before at Windsor. Um, that form should stand up for Group 3 level here. And the other one worth noting is the four Gabriel, but we've got a real query on breeding, being by Dark Angel out of a Matodo mare whether it'll get the trip, and it's been kept to eight and nine furlongs behind Elm Park and Cody Bear and well beaten by Tormore at Group 2 level last start. So realistically, it's hard to see it hitting the sorts of levels required to knock off the clear-cut top-rated contender, Western Him. So for Thursday, punning from Chester in the 240, um, very keen on the chances of Western Him, the high chaparral five-year-old. Um ready to break through for the 2016 season as one of the stronger bets on the Thursday Chester card. And it is race two on the card for the day. So 
good early way to put some winnings in your pocket for better races later on in the day. That's another preview from Hotbet365. Plenty more to come over Thursday, Friday, Sunday and Sunday um, in what is shaping up as an excellent weekend on the punt for Hotbet365.com followers. Thanks, good luck and happy punting.